DeepSeek burst onto the scene as a breakthrough, an open source model that stunned the world with its speed, scale, and affordability. In months, it shifted the balance of power in AI, proving that China could rival Silicon Valley on raw capability. But in China, no technology exists outside the state's reach. The regime has made its goals clear. Every domestic AI must comply with government requirements to embody socialist values. That means censorship isn't an afterthought, it's the foundation. And now, Beijing has put its hands directly on DeepSeek. Testing revealed the DeepSeek R1 Safe achieved nearly 100% success in blocking what Huawei calls common harmful issues, toxic speech, politically sensitive content, even the faintest hint of dissent. At home, it ensures obedience. Abroad, it signals something darker. A future where the very AI tools we rely on could quietly decide which truths we're allowed to see and which vanish without a trace. DeepSeek R1 Safe didn't stumble into perfection. Huawei and Zhejiang University retrained the model on a thousand of Huawei's Ascend AI chips, embedding layer after layer of filters. Fourteen categories of forbidden content were targeted. Toxic speech, politically sensitive subjects, even the faintest incitement to illegal activity. The result? A machine that anticipates danger before the words are even finished. In ordinary use, it avoided almost every forbidden topic. This isn't just an AI that answers questions. It's an AI that predicts which questions must never be answered. Silence, engineered at scale. Behind the numbers lies a blueprint written by the state. Chinese regulators don't just encourage compliance, they enforce it. Every public-facing AI must be tested by the Cyberspace Administration of China. The exam is simple but ruthless. Prompts about protests, corruption, or history itself. If the answers don't align with party narratives, the model fails. To survive, developers maintain constantly updated blacklists of forbidden words and phrases, feeding them into the system week after week. The outcome is chilling, censorship not as a patch, but as a permanent feature of the code itself. Huawei boasts of nearly 100% success, but perfection is an illusion. In controlled tests, the model performs flawlessly. Yet when users disguise their intent through role play, coded language, or indirect prompts, the success rate collapses to around 40%. Even so, the message is unmistakable. The state has built an AI that can erase dissent in plain sight. And it's getting better with every iteration. What looks like safety is, in truth, obedience. And obedience, once perfected, doesn't stay contained. In China, the impact is immediate and intimate. Ask DeepSeek R1 Safe about Tiananmen Square, and you won't get history, you'll get cooking tips. Search for corruption, and the answer is silence. For a generation raised on these systems, entire chapters of reality vanish before they're ever known. It's not just censorship of speech, it's censorship of memory. And when memory is erased, resistance becomes impossible. The state doesn't just control what people say, it controls what they believe ever happened. That's the true power of a machine that scores nearly 100% at obedience. But Beijing's ambitions don't end at its borders. Countries from Kazakhstan to Pakistan are already adopting Chinese AI systems, bundled with censorship baked in. What began as the Great Firewall inside China is now a global export, sold as safety 
but functioning as silence. Authoritarian governments see in DeepSeek R1 safe a turnkey solution, instant control over digital speech, scalable across millions of users. And once these systems take root abroad, they don't just filter local dissent, they normalize a world where censorship is the default setting. Control becomes a product, and that product is spreading. Even Western companies aren't immune. Apple delayed its Apple Intelligence rollout in China until 2025, tailoring features to avoid political landmines. Global firms bend because access to China's market demands it. The danger is subtle but profound. When companies adjust their technology to fit Beijing's rules, those compromises don't always stay contained. They bleed into global products, shaping what billions of people see and don't see. The line between business decision and political censorship blurs. And in that blur, the regime's influence grows, not just in China, but everywhere. Censorship used to be static, lists of banned words, crude filters that could be outsmarted with slang or satire. But DeepSeek R1 Safe is different. It learns. Reinforcement training allows it to adapt to new memes, coded language, even sarcasm. Each time users try to slip past the system, the model gets smarter at shutting them down. Resistance becomes a moving target, and the target keeps shrinking. What once felt like a cat and mouse game is turning into something else entirely, a machine that evolves faster than dissent itself. The rise of censorship-enhanced AI points to a fractured future, one version of the Internet where AI empowers creativity, free speech, and discovery. Another, where AI enforces silence, rewriting reality to fit ideology. The danger isn't just two systems coexisting, it's the collision between them. As Chinese models spread abroad and Western firms bend to political red lines, the global internet risks splitting into rival realities. Truth itself becomes relative. And in that fracture, the line between information and propaganda blurs until it disappears. DeepSeek's transformation is more than a Chinese story. It's a warning to the world. If governments can bend AI to their ideology, then the very tools we rely on to learn, to search, to create, could quietly decide which truths we're allowed to see. At home, it means obedience. Abroad, it means influence. And for all of us, it means the frontier of AI, the place once imagined as open, free, and limitless, may already be closing. The question is no longer whether censorship will spread. The question is how far and how fast. DeepSeek began as a frontier an open source model that shocked the world with its speed and affordability. But once the regime's hand closed around it, that frontier became a filter. What was innovation became ideology. Inside China, it means a generation raised on AI that erases dissent before it's spoken. Outside China, it means censorship-enhanced systems exported, adopted, and normalized. And for all of us, it means the very tools we trust to learn, to search, to create, could quietly decide which truths survive and which vanish without a trace. This is the new frontier of control, not firewalls, not propaganda, but algorithms that rewrite reality itself. And the question isn't if this model will spread, it's how far and how fast. Next time, we'll explore the counterforces, the movements fighting back with technology of their own.